Hey guys, today let's play some Traffic Department 2192. This is one of my favorite DOS games of all time, and the reason for that is because the story in it is so good, and it plays almost like a thriller, um, kind of like a suspense thriller, a lot of uh, betrayal, a lot of revenge, um, that kind of thing in it. And it's definitely one of the most uh, compelling uh, DOS games I've ever played. Okay, so basically, the pilot, Rick Velasquez, looks forward to seeing his daughter. He's on patrol. So he's just he's just flying on this mission. And uh, what happens is that he... This is Rick Velasquez, 2014B. Over. Yeah. Rick, we're keen to up on long range scanners. Welcome home, sir. Traffic Department 2192. Well, you'll see what happens. Uh, this is the introduction. Basically... He gets fired on by Vulcans, which are the rival organization. Just seconds away from the hangar, disaster strikes. A burst of iron cannon fire tears the ship apart. Rick Valasquez is killed instantly in the fire explosion. And his daughter watches from the hangar as her father dies. So that's that's basically the, the premise of this game, is that... Uh, you play this woman who is very vengeful and bitter following her father's death um, in the department and uh, she vows to, to get revenge on the Vulcans. But it's a little bit more than just a basic revenge game. Uh, the plot line is, gets very thick later on. And you even have some like hints of like some cyberpunk thing going on back once you get really deep into the story. But anyways, the music is amazing, the sound is amazing. Uh, the story is really good, uh, and the control and the gameplay is actually pretty good too. So this is definitely one of my favorite DOS games of all time. So uh, every mission starts like this, you talk to someone and you have two faces on the screen and um, it talks in this kind of script way, uh, it's, a, it's like a dialogue. So yeah, the before each mission, it's like a dialogue happens. Um, most of them are pretty interesting to, to actually read. Okay, and a lot of these missions are usually killing uh, enemy Vulcans, but some of them are uh, protecting transport ships and stuff like that. So it's pretty interesting. So this is my Hornet. So you start out with this uh, skitter type called a, a Hornet. And later on, you can upgrade to different ones. And sometimes you can even steal the enemy's uh, hornets. I mean, you can sometimes you even start out with the enemy's vehicles too, depending on the mission. But yeah, the music is just amazing for this game. I love the music. It's so good. I have to defeat all these enemy transports, maybe. the enemy trucks. So usually these games are kill all the enemies, defeat, defeat the enemy's trucks, stop them from getting closer to the base. Oh, some of the missions are like stop them from going on the base, other missions are like steal the enemy's uh, Vulcan skid and then uh, pilot it back to the base. Because the Vulcans, it turns out, the Vulcans have their own storyline as well. And uh, once you keep playing this game, you'll find out what, how they put their storyline like as well. And then after every mission, you get a mission debriefing. But what I'm interested in, in is a story, and the story happens through dialogue. Before every mission, you get another dialogue that happens, and they're really interesting to read. To read. And 
and this is the commander Satara's office. This dialogue is, uh, happens in different places, um, sometimes it even happens from the Vulcan's point of view. And the thing is, the me, Lieutenant Velasquez, in this, who is the daughter of the her father who got killed, he, she has some psychological issues in this game as well. So you see what those issues are. Eventually, they manifest. And um, anyways, the second mission: Operation Coordinator's Office. The vast variety of characters in this game is amazing. Even though you only play one character, um, the characters in the story is pretty amazing. Okay, so I can hit F6 to view incoming communications. Make sure it safely gets away. I'm done. Ooh, decent pilot. That's good. Now we get to see what happens at the Vulcan headquarters. Yep, this is the Vulture Command Institute, Colonel Wolfus Wolfenkopf's office, the Vulture Captain. Alright, next mission. It looks like another escort mission. Okay, here she is. 
this was Death's quarterback. That's a bit hard to do with all these Vulcans around her. Vulture theme. I love this theme. Such good music. Okay, so they have a new ship, a Vulture Ship Mug 2. That won't be the last of their new ships, by the way. And it won't be the last one that I uh, try to steal either. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a Vulture Mug 2. It's fast, maneuverable, and armed with firefight iron cannons. Maximum speed is unknown. Its only limitation appears to be its projectile mid payload. This is my briefing striker. Keep your eye out. Fly by night mission. Alright, so I have uh, infrared vision this time since I'm flying by night. It's a night mission. constantly developing new vehicles, so um, I believe in one of these missions I actually steal one of them, one of those new vehicles.
<laughs> so this dialogue is pretty funny. That's my quarters where I sleep uneasily. Reliving my father's death, I awake in a cold sweat. Later, I find the cause of my pain. That's Cap Vulture Captain Murdoch. <laughs> I have a feeling that guy won't be staying very long. <laughs> and there you go. Yeah, so the, um, my guy, my character, this girl, she's uh, she has some attitude problems and psychological problems. <laughs> like I said, it's very interesting. Alright, so he's in a stingray, and I'm supposed to accompany him. Or stiletto, I think. Not a stingray. Get my vehicle names mixed up. They're all named after some animals. Left the city, okay, safely. Uh, lots of escort I've become a nuisance, have I? Oh, so it looks like they're gonna kill me. Uh -oh. Well, seeing as how I'm, I'm up for revenge against my father anyway. Thank you. 
I'm flying a stiletto on this mission. The fastest ship. And I have afterburners too. Okay, I hope my keyboard mapping is correct. Oh, this is a stiletto. That's right. This is a pretty fast. Let's see if I can hit the afterburner on this. Oh, I've been sabotaged. Whoops. Let's try again. Alright, this is my stiletto. It's a pretty fast uh, skit. It's one of the fastest, I think. I have to get revenge. Stiletto is faster, but somewhat weaker than my opponent. Oh man. Okay, this is a stiletto. It's probably the fastest ship that I have, but it's not very strong. It cannot take a lot of hits. And also its firepower is not that much. Alright, I'm here to get revenge. I'm, getting, I'm here to get my revenge. I don't have my afterburner right now. take a lot of hits. I have to rely on my speed. It's a little bit difficult because my stilo can't hit it. It can't take a lot of hits. Thank you. 
I just took down his uh, top flying ace. Right? Yeah, that's right. So yeah, this doctor has a twin brother who looks exactly like him and is also constructing uh, latest prototypes and experiments and stuff. Yep, Phil Ramsey's and Leopold Ramsey's. They're both doing experiments. At least I got my revenge on that guy. <laughs> I like how this game can be uncensored because it's so. Um... Well, this game is like a game for adults. So I want to say it's a game for kids at all, considering there's an uncensored version. Oh man, Vulture Number 2 is. Gotta be careful. Vulture Lab, what's going on? Yeah, they are planning something sinister indeed. <laughs> That's why I love this game, the plot is so amazing. Okay, let's, let's play this one last mission.
Looks like I get a co-pilot this time. And it's a night mission, so infrared. Commander Moloch clone. <laughs> yep, that's right, they're cloning people now. I told you the story gets really interesting. They're cloning people. Okay, anyways, um, this is Traffic Department 2192, uh, incredible game, great music, great sound, great story, um, yeah, I love it, it's got everything, the story's got betrayal, sabotage, cloning, cyborgs, uh, everything's in it, uh, revenge, And uh, yeah, that is Traffic Department. <laughs> 